coach at the half, the Chiefs, held a one-point lead. He didn't join his teammates in the locker room. He opted to stay on the field. He hasn't made a secret about it. He's quite disappointed, unsure of his future with the team. What do you make of the way he's letting this play out? And, and not to call him his antics, but the way he's choosing to express himself. Well, if I'm a team leader uh, on that football team, I'm disappointed. And I'm upset because what you're doing now is you're going against the, the players. It's, not, it's one thing to, to be against uh, you know, the, the management and, and the coaches, but when you go against the players in terms of a halftime situation where we're all in this together and we're trying to win a football game, you should not bring that to the table at that particular time. I would be very upset as his teammate. Pete Carroll has to explain to his team what kind of disciplinary measures he's going to take with Marshawn. And he's got to sit down with Marshawn, who's a, a guy who admittedly does his own thing and does it well when he's got the football in his hands, and explain to him, listen, Marshawn, I've got to discipline you for this. This is what I'm going to do. It's not about you. It's about the act. Let's get together going forward. Pete Carroll is one of the best in the history of the game at doing that. He's got the right coach there. So you expect it to be like a monetary fine? and uh, I don't know. Uh, Pete will do something creative, I think. But they're going to, there's going to have to be some discipline. But it'll be swift and swift, he'll put it sure, to bed. and he'll put it to bed. Yes. And it needs to be certain, and everyone needs to be on the same page so that it doesn't happen again and it doesn't spill into the rest of this, this season because, you know, they're in a stretch run right now.